Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we have a new brand on set today. Uh, this is Poopsie Cutie Tooties. These are blind box toys from MGA Entertainment, the company behind Bratz, um, Num Noms, and LOL Surprise. So this is essentially, it's kind of like a spin-off um, line of toys from um, like the Umbrella brand which is um, Poopsie Slime Surprise. So these are very loud and thematic. Um, they're definitely not going to be for everyone. We'll get into that more in Final Thoughts. But so yeah, the Poopsie Slime Surprise, um, they're mainly known for the Poopsie Unicorn Surprise, which is these really large, um, very loud, you know, like unicorn dolls with rooted hair and you can make your own slimes and stuff like that. And uh, there are a lot of poop puns. Um, which again is not going to be for everyone. Uh, it might come off to some people as like off-putting and weird, but it's also, I think, very funny and colorful. Um, so the Poopsie Cutie 2Ds are basically just little mini figures. These are priced, by the way, at $9.99, 10 bucks essentially. I found them at Target, and um, yeah, there's just a lot of different little critters and. These blind bags come, yeah, they're blind bags. You do not know what you're getting. It's a mystery, although um, the outer compartments, as you can see, there's like a pink one and you know purple ones. I think they like come in all the different colors of the rainbow. We're gonna be opening a couple of these on camera and then I have a whole collection that have been opened off camera and then we're gonna show you guys probably several of them at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. So getting right off to the packaging. Um, the packaging is very cute. I think um, packaging is a strong suit for MGA for sure. Um, it's very iridescent and rainbowy, which is definitely a recurring theme for this brand. And we see a little kitty critter on the front, some rainbows, and the name of this collection. And on the back, you have some instructions, you know, snip or pop, squeeze slime, find surprise, yada, yada, yada. And it also shows you that there are five variants of slime that you can find inside. There's crunch slime, bouncy slime, water slime, marshmallow slime, and putty slime. Um, they look different and have different consistencies, as you will come to see. So, all right, let's get started opening our first one. Quick thing, by the way, so supposedly the way these packaging, the packaging works is it's like this doubles sort of as like a resealable bag, but I don't know. I don't really like this as a resealable bag just because it's kind of oddly shaped and it's not really something I want to keep to reseal the slime and everything and you have to open it and kind of like a weird way to like maintain the resealable bag and the outer packaging doesn't do a fantastic job of telling you that. So I just like to snip it open and get to the little poopy container. So we've got our first one right here. And of course there is a collector's guide inside and there's actually a lot of different types. The sky blue doo-doos. Those are probably some of my favorites because I like the sky like rain themed ones. And there's like junk foodie, cute little ones. Um, it's a lot of really cute designs. I personally think the art style for this whole series is really, um, uh, I don't know, it's just it really pops. It reminds me a lot of really like heavily thematic like pop art and stuff like that. So it's really cool. And there's Duties of the Forest, Cosmic, you know, and Bougie. I love this little like, it's like the one I want the most is Prism. It's like this really pretty like multicolored kitty. The pandas are cute. I like the dragons. So we've got our collector's guide right there. And um, we have, you know, a little instruction booklet. We're not gonna show that in too much detail because we will show you guys what it is you need to do for these. But yes, it does come with an instruction booklet. So you have two options for opening these. You can either snip off the top with scissors, but if you want to keep this little glittery, you know, poop compartment, you need to open it from the bottom, uh, which last time I tried, it's a huge pain. It's kind of like weird because it's all like melded together. There's not a super easy way to do it. So what I've been doing is you just use scissors to snip a little bit out and then Tear from there. And tear from there, essentially. Yeah, some of them are weird to open. 
And so, oh, we have some slime right Ooh, away. Okay. It's like a cool. it's like a glittery slime. This one, oh, that slime's really pretty, actually. It's like a little, it's like hearts and stuff. Okay, so we have our little critter. So yeah, you just squeeze it to get, oh my, the slime, the slime is really pretty. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, you have to like, <laughs> these are weird though. You have to like scoop out the, ah! <laughs> you have to like scoop out the slime. Um, this one's cool. There's like little hearts in it. Oh, this feels, ooh, this feels really nice. This is, um, yeah, the funny thing with like slimes, I know it's, you know, it's like very like therapeutic and that kind of thing to kind of touch them. And ooh, this one doesn't, oh, it's very pretty though. Ooh. This is probably, because I've already opened some other ones, this is probably my favorite slime of all the ones I've seen so far. It's very, very nice. It's like little glitter hearts. Holding on to our little container, and let's see what figure we got. So we got Mooney, and he or she is rare. Um, what's really cool about these is, as you can see, they have rooted eyelashes, and they have little glittery horns, and they got a little booty. Um, this is super cute. It's a little crescent moon and goes very well with the slime it pairs with. All right, that was our first poll. So next up, we got a pink one. Ah, uh, this is my least favorite slime. <laughs> this is the crunch slime. Um, I think personally the crunch slime looks and feels really gross. Um, it's, I don't know, I'm not into it. Um, I personally prefer like the softer, more malleable like slimes. This one is just kind of weird and it gets everywhere and it looks super weird. So we're just gonna leave that in there. But yeah, the crunch slime is really, it's like tough. It honestly, what it reminds me of is like, you know, like when you're making like Rice Krispie treats, the marshmallow fluff, and like it has um, like that exact same consistency and it sticks everywhere, so that's fun. Gotta get all that off. So let's see which figure we got. Oh, I wanted this one. We got the panda. Cute. So we got Cuddles the Panda. So apparently the slime it comes with is on here, so. Yeah, there's yeah, there's certain ones that can come with more than one different type of slime, but it looks like Cuddles only comes with the crunch slime. And Cuddles is rare. Um, oh, the purple eyes are gorgeous. Very pretty. Yeah, just your standard panda, but very, very cute. All right, we got a blue one next. I see an interesting looking slime. This is like goopy. Goopy. Ooh, I'm actually, I'm like curious about this slime. This is, so what are the types? The types are crunch, bouncy, water, marshmallow, and putty. Oh, this feels like putty. I think this it's is like putty. <laughs> yeah, it literally looks like gum. And there's, yeah, it's kind of like glittery. There's like heart confetti in it. Oh, and it's sparkly too. It's like, this is totally gum. This is like straight up gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that in there for now, but I oh, love the blue poop. This looks like a monkey. The outside of it looks very monkey-ish. Ooh, wait, who are you? Oh, <gasps> oh, like oh that's really cute, yeah. So we got a little Yeti. I think he's the only one of his family too. Frostbite. Yeah, he's from the Antarctica family, <laughs> and he's the only one in that family. His name is Frostbite. Ooh, I think we got a, he's Purple. like especially rare. Ultra rare, we got an ultra rare one. Oh, he's precious. Yeah, he's a little Yeti. He's covered in glitter, white glitter. Oh, so cute. Okay, we got a dark purple poopy in here. Oh, I see more crunch slime. Okay, so this is, oh wow, it's interesting. Yeah, it's like a minty, it's like a minty. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of like the texture of the crunch slime. It's just kind of weird. It's really easy to mold into like shapes though, uh -huh. if you're into that, so. All right, so let's see who's in here. Oh, I 
think we got one of the little water droplets. Yeah. Oh, this one's very sad. <laughs> crying. So we got the crying water droplet. So this is drip. And drip is rare, which by the way, in this series, rare is only one level above like regular. So I feel like rare, they label the, the uncommons basically mm. as the rares. So yeah, this is drip, a little glittery water drop is crying. Very, very cute. All right, this is our finale, ladies and gents. So the slime in here is really pretty. So this has a really nice consistency. It's similar to like the first slime that we pulled. I want to say, I'm like, that's probably the water slime. Cause it has, it has kind of like the consistency you expect from like traditional, you know, slime. It's very, it's very, it's nice and cold. You know, it's very soft and squishy. Um, oh, this is so pretty. It's like, it's like a nighttime galactic slime. Oh, we got the pink panda. This one's rare. So we got Orchid. This is the pink panda from the Bougie Poops family, and she is another rare, aka uncommon. Um, yeah, she's pretty much the same as the other panda. She's just pink instead of black. Lovely. Alright, so before we move on to final thoughts, um, these are every variant of the little glittery poop containers that I saw in what looked like a full box slash almost full box. Um, so it looks like, I could be wrong, but it looks like there are 10 colors in total. There's basically every color of the rainbow plus a few. You can use them to keep your slimes in, which by the way, the ones we pulled off camera, here are some more variants of the slime. So yeah, this one, it has like, glittery like moons it's a purple glitter and then there's like a slight variant of that that's like a lighter purple um i thought this one was really pretty it's like a it's like a yellow like shimmery one that has little star confetti so these are the other characters that we have pulled off camera um i love the little dragon so cute um and surprisingly, I actually did pull um, one of the super ultra rares, um, Ash the Phoenix on the far right, um, who is cute, although it's funny, he looks more like a chicken <laughs> than a phoenix to me, but he is very cute. Um, personally, I'm really happy I got Rain, uh, the little white cloud that's like puking rainbows. I think Rain is mega cute. Um, and I also really like Twiggy, the little, like, you know, tree forest creature. Um, Groot. Groot, yeah, it's a little baby Groot. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments. All right, so that has been our unboxing of the Poopsie Cutie Tooties. That's quite a mouthful. Yes. You know, when Max first showed me these, these were, I consider pretty hideous. I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of this line, I think. Just like, kind of like the aesthetics and like the design of them are kind of strange. I know they're really popular in like the original form, those like the giant unicorn ones. But these are cute. They kind of remind me of kind of the, like the new, newer, like, are they still Beanie Babies? Yeah, you're thinking of the, the Beanie Babies that have like the yeah. faux, it, it's basically like plastic eyes that have the effect of like glass eyes. Basically. Yeah, the yeah. glittery mm -hmm. eyes. They're cute. I think they're a little overpriced. I know they're, I think they're designed pretty well, the packaging, um, but they are a little overpriced, $10 for these guys. But seeing them in person, they're pretty detailed with their um, shiny eyes and I, I didn't realize they had um, lashes eyelashes which is really cool it does make me want to get some of these just because some of the characters are cute but i think they're kind of strange overpriced but i definitely see the audience i love these <laughs> honestly um i could totally see myself getting hooked on these i mean ironically i've already i've gotten a lot of them now i think at this point you know ugh, i'm bummed i didn't get prism the multicolored kitty um but other than that, these are some really awesome pulls. I definitely agree that this is kind of an overpriced brand in general. Um, the Poopsie Unicorn surprises are really expensive. They're like 60 plus dollars. Uh, also, 
There's kind of like an upgraded variant of this series, more or less. It's called um, Poopsie um, Sparkly Critters, which I actually have one of those as well. I actually got a really cool rare one. I got Bubbles, the little mermaid sea creature, um, which I will show here. But um, those are even more overpriced. Those are like $15. And the, basically the difference is the figures are like a little bit bigger and they have like a metallic sheen to them. And instead of the slime just coming in at pre-made, you have to like make the slime yourself. I don't know. I mean, while I do think it's like we used to live in an era where we expected blind bags to be under $10, but honestly, unfortunately, I feel like we're moving into an era where blind bag toys are so popular and they are definitely increasing in detail. So I think because of that, you know, the price point for blind bags is going up. Overall, I consider, you know, if you start getting into this brand, it's a little bit of a financial commitment because yeah, most of these toys are a bit pricey. But on the flip side of that, I think it definitely shows in quality. Um, I think these are really high quality toys. I think they're very beautiful. I definitely don't think they are for everyone because yes, the stylization is a little out there and it might, um, you know, freak some people out, might not be your thing. So I don't think these are quite as accessible as like, you know, LOL Surprise or something that's more generically cute. Another thing that this brand does that I think is really funny, they do like poop puns on like big brands like Coke and Doritos and stuff like that. I don't know, I think it's just been a while since we've seen Playline toys with this type of quality and um, wit in their, you know, sense of humor and their theme. So I applaud this brand and I hope it continues to be successful. And I think if you've got a taste for something artsy and unique and colorful, I would definitely check these out. So thank you for joining us for our unboxing and review of the Poopsie Cutie Tooties. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of them in the comments. Let us know what you'd like to see next from our channel. And we will see you next time. Bye.